Hey everybody, I'm Enzo and today we are going to build a simple React model. Okay, it's pretty simple to do so we can start right now. So here we are in VS Code in a simple Create React app. I just have an app.js right there. I'm importing my model mm -hmm. and I have a components folder with a model folder and I've done all the CSS for you. You can find the source code in description and you can reuse it as you want. And we are going to focus on the GS part, so the React part, okay? So in our component right there, I'm just returning React fragments and I will use use state for the state and I have my CSS right there. So for the state, it will be a simple toggle actually. So const model and set model. Yep. And we will start at use state false because when we start, we don't want to see the model uh, only when we click on the button. So the button is right there mm -hmm, with the class of btn model. Okay. And inside I will just write open. Okay. And when I click on it on click, I want to run a function. I want to run const toggle a model. Okay. And when I click on the button, I want to toggle the state. How we toggle the state with react. We are just using set model. Okay. This, and we are changing the state with exclamation mark, uh, state. So if the state if it is false, it will go to true. And if it's true, it will go to false. Okay. It's a really simple and basic, uh, toggle. Okay. So we do have our button, but we don't have actually the model itself. So we can go just there and write it. So a div with the class name of model and inside it, I want to have an overlay. It's pretty important. Okay. It's the overlay. Uh, usually there is a overlay. It's not mandatory, but usually there is a overlay. So I am just showing you how you can do that. And I will just finish the model and I will explain the CSS. So after that, I want the content. Okay. So model content inside it. I will just write hello model, model, model. And inside that I will put some text lorem 50. Mm -hmm. And yes, I do have my text right there and I want to close it with a button so I can stay in my model content and I will add a um, button and inside it I will just write close and I want to add there a class name of close btn, a close model, close model and an on click equal toggle model. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, that's great. Here is the button on the top right. So usually this is a cross or a red cross or whatever. So you can put some animation or whatever you want. This is just to have a simple button. Okay. So now with the model, with the, that component, we need uh, basically two features. We need to close it when we click on the overlay and when we click on the button. Okay. So this is why I've put right there toggle model on the button and I will put it to on the overlay. How I did the overlay, it's just right there on the CSS. So um, as you see, the overlay is just taking the full width and height and it, it, it's like pinned at the top left, right bottom. So it's, it's really taking all the space behind my model. So this is perfect. When I will click on it, it will close everything. And yeah, this is pretty much it. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is to render the model conditionally. So we need to open curly braces and inside it, I will use the short circuit operator. So if model is true, double sign and I will just return my model right there. So CTRL X and I will just copy it right there. So this is the short circuit operator. It's not very common, but it's very useful. It's like a minified version of the ternary operator. So it means that if model is true, I will return my model. And if it's not, I will not return. I will return nothing at all. Okay, so now I can just click and oh yeah, it's working great. And I will try my two features. If I click on overlay, I will trigger toggle model again up 
And if I click on the close, I will trigger it again too. So yeah, yeah, it's working. And this is how we are making some model with React. I want to show you a last thing. Actually, if you have some content, uh, so let's just imagine there is some text, okay, below it. Uh, usually you don't want to scroll when you have the model open, you know, because it's, it's not really a good user experience. So you can uh, prevent the scroll when the model is open. So to do that, we will just put right there, if model, then document.body.classlist.add active model, okay, else I will just remove it. I don't know why, but the toggle method of the class list is not working with the body right there. I think it has something to do with, with React actually. So I'm just using the add and remove, okay? So I will just add and remove the um, active model class and it will uh, remove the, the overflow. Why? So it, it will remove the scroll bar, scroll bar, scroll bar. Okay, so if I open it, see there is no scroll bar. And I can't, I can't scroll. I'm trying right now, I'm trying to scroll and I can't. And when I close it up, I will have my scroll bar again. Okay, so this is a way to prevent the scroll when you have a model open. All right, I hope you understood me and everything was right. You can use the source code and everything. And well, see you next time, bye.